I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Who are you? This is Matt once again. This is another review, this time for Felix. He got one of the video tiers on Patreon, so he's getting a couple reviews. Thank you for that. If anyone if, is if anyone's ever interested in requesting pretty much any type of video, you'd either request it directly to my PayPal or join me on my Patreon. There are exceptions, but pretty much any type of review or movie topic, feel free. Again, either my PayPal or my Patreon, both links are down below in the info box. And the reason I stutter there is number one, I need a drink. And number two, based on reading online, I think, I wonder if Felix or others thought I would rant on this because it's considered one of the worst Disney films, the bottom of the barrel. I'm like, no, the one with Roseanne, Home on the Range. You know what? I reviewed that film. I already forgot if that was a fucking Disney movie. That's how fucking bad Home on the Range is. That to me is bottom of the barrel. This, I thought it was harmless. I thought it was harmless. The animation is not as great compared to other animated films. It's not as polished. I'll give you that. But I mean, with some of the reviews I've seen on YouTube, I don't think it's that fucking bad. I really don't. Maybe I just, I remember seeing this because I worked at a video store where you can only show G, PG, really G rated material you know, on the TVs while you're working. And someone, my assistant manager, she was a very nice lady named Amanda. She would always have this film on. So I was always, you know, when you have a little bit, I would watch a little bit and get back to work again. So I don't know, maybe because of that, I got used to it or people are like, oh my God, the characters, they're so stupid. The names are so stupid. Well, it was based on the chicken little storyline and they want to do something a little bit different, putting some aliens in there. Oh, but one's called Lucy Goosey. I'm like, look at all the fucking names and all the other goddamn cartoons and animated films. There's a lot of them that have stupid fucking names, and even worse fucking names. The lead character, I believe, is voiced by Zach Braff. I felt sorry for the character. He said the the sky is falling. His dad, play, voiced by Derry Marshall, doesn't believe him, so the town thinks he's crazy. Of course, we know that he's not, but you just you know feel sorry for him. And. His group of friends seem likable. Steve Zahn plays Ron, who's his big pig. Joan Cusack played, I forget her, I think Abby, but kids would pick on her, calling her Ugly Duckling, ugly because duckling, she has butt teeth and such. Uh, this fish that had like a tank on his head. I thought they were kind of likable. Like the fish with the, I thought that was really cool because he didn't have any dialogue. 
he was a normal fish, but he had a tank with water in it so he could walk around. And I thought he was cute and likable. Joan Tuzad, you felt sorry for the character because of how everybody was picking on her. Her and the Chicken Little, how they kind of fall in love with each other. I thought that was kind of sweet and charming. Uh, the songs, you had some fun songs in there. And I'm trying to think what would be my favorite song. I mean, you have R.E.M.'s End of the World. End of the world as we know it. Uh, you have the Bare Naked Lady songs. I think it's called One Little Slip. One Little Slip. Soundtrack's not too bad. The movie is very short. It's only an hour and 14 minutes. If you take off the end, I mean, I enjoy this a hell of a lot more than say Home on the Range. I mean, is that great? I think the animation needed finessing and polishing. But I did have a fast enough pace. I thought I didn't felt sorry for the little chicken, which is a strange phrase to say. It's it is cute. It's harmless. I mean, Joan Cusack, Steve Zahn's characters are watching TV, seeing what you want, what you really, really want. And the fish has a stick. He's moving around like he's in a rave. One that leads to another. This alien's left behind. This cute furry alien that doesn't speak English has three eyes. I thought that was cute. And the characters are trying to do the right thing, trying to help this alien help it and save it. The main characters are being nice to him. Then the aliens are going around searching for it and you think they're zapping but really they're abducting. It's nothing uniquely original. You know that the father, he's going to reconcile with the son and be like, oh, you know, your mom was always good with this stuff, but me, I, I need a lot of work. So at least the father admits that he's not good. At least he admits that he's fucking up. At least there's those moments. And then he does come through for his son at the end. The aliens realize they fucked up and they apologize and they start fixing up the town. It's like, oh, we're sorry for this understanding. Chicken little kisses, ugly duckling, and she's just in the clouds for the rest of the movie. The pig loves the scene. Steve Zahn's character. I, again, I'm watching this, I'm going, I don't think this film is that fucking, it's not Aladdin, it's not Mulan, it's not The Lion King, no. It just, for the amount of hate I saw on YouTube calling this the worst and bottom of the barrel, I don't give a fuck. I'll say it. I'd rather watch this in Pocahontas. I don't give a fuck. Fuck Pocahontas. I don't like Pocahontas or the sequel. I'd rather watch this. This is where I have a faster pace. Have more likable characters. Fuck Pocahontas. I don't give a fuck. And I just... I didn't... I thought the, the voice work played their characters well. There were some cute characters, like I said, the fish that didn't talk, but bleep, 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 but people would understand them. There's a fo there's a not football, but a baseball rally, and the fish somehow painted. I like the idea that the fish painted half his face in a uh, different colors for the the baseball game. So this is the idea that the fish would have had a painted that. Then put the helmet on and fill it up with water. Then go outside. And so, it, like those fucking guys you would see a football game. <laughs> and the fish is doing that. But you just went. Bew, bew. I mean, the little alien was cute. Like nowadays we say Baby Yoda. It tried to have a heart to it. I don't think it was mean or cynical. Was it funny? Nah, but I didn't find a lot. I mean, there's a lot of animated films I enjoy. I didn't really find them funny, but I enjoyed. I just, 
with all the bad films I've seen, and even some of the bad anime films I've seen, I mean, Garfield and Garfield Tale of Two Titties, and there's one I completely fucking forgot about. Emoji Movie. Like, this was, I thought it was cute and it was harmless. Cute and harmless. I know it's not much of a review, but it's a very straightforward film. Again, without the incredible, it's only an hour and 14 minutes long. Character scene, Don't Go Breaking My Heart, which was cute. Patrick Stewart has a brief voice cameo as a teacher at the, the kid's school. I mean, I can't tell you any jokes that landed, to be fair. What I didn't mind is when the a few times when Chicken Little was confused, he's like, who are you talking about? Because I don't know, maybe for a second I think he's going to say, what you talking about, Willis? But who are you talking about? Or who are you talking about? I know this fucking nostalgia trait is like, why is he, I don't understand. Why is the fish mating a, f why is he mating this thing so he looks and acts like Team Khan, like, it doesn't make sense. He just took this paper and he made a tower and he's he's playing like he's Team Gone. Oh, I'm the nostalgia critic and I did not Why did he do that? This is a fucking cartoon. Who gives a shit? There's plenty of fucking live action films where characters just do something just for the scene in the moment just to fuck around. That's what normal people do in the real world, Miss Doug. I'm sorry that normal people ain't you. Fucking idiot. Go make more of those shitty fucking... No, please don't make more of those shitty fucking nostalgia critic movies. Please. I, because that was one of the reviews I watched. And it was like, I don't understand. I'm... Why, why does he make a... I forget if it was his review of the nostalgia trait or his real thoughts on it. Which I like just... How about both be the same? Yeah, nostalgia... That's the weird thing about him. He's got a nostalgia trait, thoughts on it, and then my real thoughts on this movie. Why aren't they the fucking same? Why aren't they the fucking same? He's played a character. Well, his character fucking sucks. In my opinion, he's overrated. You're jealous. You're goddamn right I'm jealous. Because I see multiple amounts of friends, multitude of friends, are a hell lot more talented than that motherfucker. So fuck him. Because he's a, no, because he's a shitty reviewer. I don't think he's ever had any talent, and he's never been funny. Especially when I watch his stupid fucking films that I reviewed a couple on here. But anyway, getting back on topic. That's the thing, like, Doug, you have no room to bitch about this movie when you made... What was the last one I fucking reviewed? I don't fucking remember. It was like four hours long. At least this movie knew to be an hour and 15, hour and 14, leave, have a good night. So, Chicken Little, I, I think it's harmless fun. It's harmless. Why did the fish... Act like Team Kong, cause he fucking felt like it. Wasn't a big deal. It's a cute joke, cute visual gag. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later. Bye bye.